Hello everybody, welcome to today's episode of the Hello Companion recording vlog. This is episode number three. We'd really like to say thanks for the response that we've gotten so far. Quiet! Welcome to today's episode of the Hello Companion recording vlog. This is episode number three. Thanks so much for the response we've been getting so far. Please consider liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel and to our videos if you're liking what you're seeing so far. Today's episode is going to focus a little bit on what I've learned so far in during the recording. At this stage of the game, I've completed recording my direct in tracks and I'm ready to go into the studio next week to start the reamping. But in the meantime, here's what I learned about a couple things. Today I'm going to talk about what it's like to play with effects versus playing clean and direct. And I'm going to talk a little bit about slide guitar as well. As guitarists, we really rely on our sense of feel and response when we're playing our instruments to get a really good performance. So it's kind of weird to record with effects versus not. I'll give you an example of what that's like. First, here's a clean direct signal. And I'll play the same thing with an affected signal. Not only does it sound different, but it feels a lot different to play. I get a lot better sense of what I'm going for sonically and I can really hear the voice of the guitar. It just feels different. There's a certain response you get when you're hearing the effects. Recording with direct is cool. I did enjoy it because you can get really clean and precise and then put effects on after. I'm just going to go through my signal chain here real quick for the affected signal. This is what I kind of hope to go for in terms of effects when I go to reamp in the studio next week. This is also in response to some folks that have asked me to just play my damn guitar in these videos. So real quickly here folks, my signal chain goes Eventide, H9, Boss BM2 Delay, Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master, really bright LEDs on that guy, and then the whole thing takes a warm bath in some reverb provided by the Earthquaker devices after Neath. From there, my signal goes into my orange amp here, Custom Shop 50, into the aux. Now on the Eventide H9, I'm using the undulator, quadruple peaks primarily. Those would be my settings for that. And for the aux, I'm running it in stereo. I'm currently using the 2x12 Comfortable Lead 6 preset. One other thing I kept in mind during this recording session is that I have all these tones and textures to my advantage, and so I wanted to be selective along with my note choices as well. I'll just demonstrate some of the tones I used for this particular song here. It's called Drop Me, and it'll be on the new Hello Companion release coming soon. <laughs> So I really had to work on my slide technique. To be honest, I've only really treated slide seriously for the past five or so years. So I thought I'd just quickly show some of the slides that I've gone through in the past here. Uh, I used to use a metal guy about yay thick. 
glass guy, same length, a little thicker. But my current favorite slide that I like the most is, uh, is this guy right here, quite thick and shorter. It's a Dunlop 218 that I use for my slides. I'm really blown away by players like Derek Trucks and Sonny Landreth and Joey Landreth and Ariel Posen. Um, other other cats are just monstrous. You know, Paul Gilbert, you know, they can play the slide like it's an extra finger. So I've been working on that technique as well during this recording, which is another thing I've picked up along the way. Well, with that being said, folks, hope you like this little sample of uh, the tones that I'm using. And <clears throat> stay tuned for more episodes. I'll be documenting my stay at the studio where I'll be reamping these direct signals and getting closer towards our final product. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Denskill out.